I need a drink. Hey everybody, and welcome back. We're opening some more Pokemon cards. Today I'm mixing it up and doing a couple different sets because uh, I want to. And because uh, I need to get rid of them. <laughs> There's a new set coming out soon called Celestial Storm. It is going to be a humongous set. It's like 160 cards plus. Uh, it's just huge. It is huge. So we got to clear out our inventory and prepare for that because I'm going to be opening up that as well. Uh, and I might try to do something with Mario. Who runs Pokemon Breaks? If you guys have not heard me talk about him in the past, where have you been? If you have, well, here's my reminder to go check him out. All of his information is going to be in the description below. Uh, what you're going to find is his uh, Twitch page, Facebook, YouTube, all that jazz. He's a great guy. He streams five days a week over on Twitch. Opens cards, helps me out, sends me some good stuff. And I promote him because we're friends, and that's what friends do. So, guys, please go check him out. Celestial Storm is going to be coming out soon. He's going to be doing lots of crazy streams for that, I am sure. He told me how much he's ordering for it. It's outrageous. So, <laughs> without further ado, let us open some cards. Um, we'll go Forbidden Light first. I think that's fine. I mean, we can open up both boxes now, which I will. But Forbidden Light is going to be the one we open first. I don't want to mix and match too much. That makes separating the codes a pain in the ass. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, you just don't want to open, do you? So, you guys know how these videos go. Two boxes. We're probably going to be here for 45 minutes or so. Ooh. I don't want to hit my microphone. I'm over here looking all stupid, though. There we go. I don't care if those are fully in frame or not, because we're going to need all the space we can get. And let's go in. If you guys remember, which hopefully you do by now, if it's a green code, like this one, we're just going to go through it like this and see what we have. We have a Magnazone and a Meowstic. Nothing else in there really worth keeping. And then we'll separate our stuff, move the mic a little bit, and we'll keep going. So, how have you all been? How's everybody doing? There's a white code. I am finally back. Is this right? Okay, it's been a minute. I'm finally back from traveling uh, for about a week. And then I get to go traveling again. I'm going to be going down to Wildcats for the 4th of July. That was a double gummy, mysterious treasure. Yep. Garchomp and... Oh Starting off with a Hyper Rare Lucario. That's a nice pack right there. We got a mysterious treasure as well. Here, we'll sleeve that bad boy up. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm going to be going to Wildcats. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's become like a tradition the last two years. A lot of us have gone to Tyler's house for the fourth. And we're continuing the tradition this year. Because it's fun. And it's great to see my friends. Because we don't play games together much anymore. I'm not on the Fortnite craze. It's not a bad thing that they are. But it's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? We got ourselves a Frogadier and an Inn Importer. We will pull that Frogadier out just because if anybody wants to build Greninja, they probably want to use the shiny ones. That's how I feel at least. I like all my shiny cards. You guys have heard me say it a hundred times. I like my, uh, my holographics. There's our energy card. Getting a little rushed there. Esper, Execute, Scatterbug, Hone Edge, Helioptile, a.k.a. Banana, Diggersby, Lady, Braxian, ooh, we got a Beast Energy, and an Infernape Hollow. Excellent. That's a good pack right there. Oh, my goodness. We'll sleeve this up. Why not? It's probably the most playable Prism card in the set. And we're going to keep on grinding. I'm excited to open up some Ultra Prism. Uh, I haven't opened a whole lot of cards recently, and everything has pretty much been... Uh, forbidden Light, so uh, to go in here and open up Ultra Prism again is going to be fun. I've kind of already forgotten what's in the set, which is funny, but it happens. <laughs> we got a green code. Alright. 
Got a Zygarde and a Bomb the Snow. Oh, nothing else in there. So far, a little bit of a slow start, but hey, that Lucario is gorgeous. It really is. Can't stop looking at it, actually. His feet look like he's wearing little boots. Little Lucario boots. Got a Litleo, a Scrotum, and a Grass Energy. You gotta like the Scrotums, baby. Mmm. Nasty. <laughs> We got another green code. Oh boy. Judge, Zygarde. Ooh, we got a fat cheek to Dene! That makes the pack worth keeping. Judge, interestingly enough, might become a play to card here more frequently soon. Uh, I'll be curious to see if people play that deck at all. Or not that deck, that card index. Um, just because we're not going to have a whole lot of what would be like disruptive cards, like in, in is going to be gone, which makes your opponent shuffle and draw cards. Judge is a guarantee shuffle draw four, but not really the same impact as an in to one. Skidoo and a Guzzlord Hollow. Yeah, we'll put both of those in that pile. So far, only one hit. If you, I mean, unless you're counting the V-string, but you're pretty much guaranteed those. At least a couple of them per box. We have a Froki, a Pancham, and a Dragalge, uh, and nothing else in there. Oop, I got my uh, my shuffle mixed up. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent! These packs are opening very nicely. I do appreciate that, Pokemon Company. You're making these packs much easier for me to open. Uh, and nothing else. Man, we've hit a, we've hit a dry spell here for sure. See if I can, uh, I'm going to try to move the mic over here a little bit. Hopefully it still is uh, loud enough. We'll have to see. I'm just tired of smacking it when I open these cards. Oh, oh crap. There we go. <laughs> that was almost bad. Got a Gumi, Snover, Cubone, Froki, Krogunk, Poly Pool Pool. I don't know why I just said that. Poi Pool. Crasher Wake, a Zelf, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and ooh, a Zygarde Full Art. We're getting all the fighting types in this one. Oh yeah, get on in there, big boy. Nice. Looking at the volume level there, and then the volume level here. Here, that's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> Just as long as the camera, yeah, it's not on frame. That's all that matters. Oh, this pack is all over the place. Here we go. Green code! So we'll just go through it. Noibat. Oh, nothing yet, nothing yet. Hopefully when we open up that Ultra Prism box, we can get ourselves some more Cynthia's. Still a great card. It is an absolutely great card. Ooh, we got a white code. Maybe that means there's some magic in here. Here we go. Have a Cubone. Boonleby, or Bunnelby, Snover, Scatterbug, Rockruff, Amora, Unit Energy, Uxi, Tyrantrum, and ooh, there's the Greninja we were talking about. Beautiful Greninja. We gotta move these things out of here already. Oh, geez, these last two packs I've sort of just like set off to the side once I pulled something. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go through that and fix that real quick. There we go. Yeah, these little bulk piles that I have are super helpful when I'm opening on the fly, but as I start getting more, uh, more ultra rares and stuff here, it becomes a pain to navigate around them. That is for sure. I got a green code. So we'll just go through this one real quick. Nothing else in there we're really worried about. The, uh, the Frogadier in that pack was not hollow, so not really sweating it too much. Got another white coat. Oh my goodness. This box has been treating us pretty good so far. Got off to a slow start, but then we've got a couple back to backers. <laughs> Finnegan, Helioptile, Plebebe, Binacle, Sligu, Zygarde, Halucha, Sylveon. Hand and Empoleon. So many Oleons. Eons, whatever. 
two packs left on this side of the box, and then we're a quarter of the way through the video. Oh, we got ourselves a Deonsi. There it is. And another fat cheeker. I love me some fat cheekers. Here, we'll put our Deonsi down there. An absolute staple in all fighting decks right now. This Deonsi is a must-have. Or Diancy, however you want to say it. It's just nice to have. Oh, there's the Malamar we were looking for. Absolutely. I'm, I don't know why I'm stacking them all over there. <laughs> uh, here. Diancy, you can go over here. Malamar, the sort of whatever pile. I'll put you here for now, since there's no more cards there. And then we got our Dinanais. Perfect. All right. Off to the second side of the box. Or onto off to whatever off to the races on oh there's a froki is it a good one i don't think it is there's a mysterious treasure and the froki is the 50 hp one so no not the one you want you do not want a froki with 50 hp i think there's one with 70 uh, but it might just be 60 i'm not sure those are the ones you want for sure the more damage you can take the better you're off in the game it just just works that way all right, we've got a Gumi, Finnegan, Inke, Pancham, Dupider, Spupa, Tyrant, Bonnie, Reverse Lady, and ooey, Bacon Bird. We got ourselves a Bacon Bird, baby. A Bacon Bird GX, that is. There you go, big boy. And that's it from that pack. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And a green code, so we'll just fire on through. Of course, ooh, the beast ring. Always good to have the beast rings. Um, that is our rare as well. That's what threw me off. Beast ring is a fantastic card. Absolutely busted. The addition to beast ring just makes Buzzwolf an even better deck, which is scary. The deck is already so fucking good. Oop, excuse my language. So froaky good. Execute, Gumi, Bergmite, Hone Edge, Furfru, Judge, Araquanid, Metal Frying Pan, Krogunk, and a Delphox. We'll set those both in the hollow pile since we got a double whammy. I'm firing through Forbidden Light as quickly as I can because I just want to get to Ultra Prism. <laughs> I just love the set so much. We have a Lycanroc. Ooh, there's the baby buzz wall. All right. That goes off into the pile. That's such a great card. Hell, the bu or the Buzzwall decks are playing more of those now than the uh, the GXs sometimes. Just sort of setting up damage around the board and then sweeping with a. Uh, you'll come in with the big Buzzwall after you've played a couple Beast Rings, and then it's just it's just hard to stop at that point. It's just really hard to stop. If you guys. I know a lot of you have asked questions about the TCG. Um, I can even post some TCG gameplay on the channel. I'm not the best player in the world. Um, that's, I just don't have the time for it, unfortunately, so I haven't really had much time to practice and improve, but I'm fairly decent. I have a pretty good understanding of the rules, and uh, I wouldn't mind playing some and posting it. Um, I also recommend you guys go check out Mahone's Tricky Gym. Um, he used to be Darium's competitive Pokemon. It's just Andrew Mahone. He's probably got my favorite Pokemon content on YouTube. He's super, super knowledgeable about the game. He's also one of the top ranked players in the game. And uh, he's just he's got really great content that explains his thought process when playing, um, as well as sometimes goes over the decks, with deck profiles to give you an idea of what the goal of the deck is. So I really suggest you check him out too. He's a super nice guy. He's got a Patreon as well if you guys are into that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's totally worth it. If you guys want more Pokemon content, check it out. I don't have nearly as much time these days to put more Pokemon content up as I'd like. Or as much as I would like. Uh, just because I'm doing so much other stuff, it's hard to... It's hard to do everything I need. I know some of you suggested just a secondary Pokemon channel. It's hard enough to manage one. <laughs> it really is. Second channels are, uh... Woo! There's the fat cheeker! Second channels are a good idea, but, uh, they are... It really is just running a completely second channel. It's, it's very difficult, so... 
All respect to the people that do do that. I just said doo-doo. There's a Lysander prism. Excellent. Put him down. Oh, excuse me. Over here belching on myself. All right, Lysander, there you go. Welcome to the party, buddy. Got a few packs left of Forbidden Light. And then, oh, we got some, some stuff. And then we'll be moving on to Ultra Prism. The set that we're all here to see, right? <laughs> That's what I'm here to see. We got a Scatterbug, Snover, Skrelf, Boonleby, Froakie, Araquanid, Ultra Space, Boiple, Froakie, and a Diantha. See how this one's got 70 HP? Much better. Automatically becomes better. <laughs> So we'll keep that one actually, just because the bubble froaky from Breakpoint won't be around much longer. Green code. All right, got a Lysander Labs, a Marowak, and another Fat Cheek to Dene. I saw you sneaking in there, buddy. Thought you could get away from me. No, sir. No, sir. I'm sure I've missed a couple in the past. I've seen the comments where people say I've missed some cards. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Can't be perfect. Got a Skidoo, Gumi, Finnegan, Inke, Panchan, Ultra Recon Squad, Amara, In Importer, In Importer, whatever the hell it's called, Zerka Tree, and an Aurora. <laughs> oh, man. So we got three packs left of Forbidden Lights. We'll clean up our station a little bit, make room for the new cards, and then we will get right into it. Skrelp, Vivian, and a Mysterious Treasure. I almost missed that one. Almost missed it! Would have been upsetting. It's a great card. I don't get very many uh, reverse hollows of those, I don't, if, if I ever have, honestly. I'm not sure that I have. I would love... Oh, there's that Buzzwall. I would love to get the Secret Rare. That would be amazing. Buzzwool, you'll go over here. You are good enough to set aside. I would love a secret rare beast ring or a secret rare in a porter. Or not in a porter, I've already pulled that one. Mysterious treasure. Hope I didn't just jinx myself. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Alright, last pack. Then we're moving on to Ultra Prism. Have an Execute. Gumi. Bergmite. Hone Edge. Furfru. Oop. Diggersby. Ultra Recon Squad. Heliolisk. A Zelf and another Greninja, what? That's fine, I'll take it. You need more of them to build the deck. <laughs> and there we go. There's our box. Interesting. <laughs> all right, so we'll, uh, we'll pick all these guys up here. Now, that's funny. It's funny when that kind of thing happens. Oh, uh, okay. I know we had that with the uh, the Naganadel decks, or card. I think that happened, what, was the first box we opened of this set, I think? And it was all, what was it, like three different Nagandels? Two regulars and a full order, something crazy? I don't remember exactly what it was. I get all these videos mixed up in my head. Alright. And then we'll separate rares and hollows. You can see why I separate them like this when I open them. It makes it so much easier to go through and organize all this stuff. Except my codes are a mess right now. I have so many codes I need to put into my uh, account online. We're talking thousands. It's absurd. Okay, there's all that. We get all this. Oh, I set these aside way too soon. Alright, I'll put these here. I forgot a set. There we go. Put these bad boys on top. Set aside for now. And it is time for Ultra Prism. And I am excited! Here, let's do this. We've got more room, just in case we need it. I don't think that we will, but, you know, 
Now that I've said that, maybe we will. Maybe I did a reverse jinx. <clears throat> we're going in. And we're starting off with a white code. Oh boy. All right, so we got our grass energy. We have an Eevee, hello. Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Rosalia, Grottle, Skateboard, Lowland Dug Trio, my favorite card in the set, I think. Cresselia and an Infernape. I love that Alolan Dug Trio. <laughs> Probably my favorite deck I've built from Ultra Prism. It's just so goofy. It's so bizarre and, and I, I want to say trolly as much as I don't really think that term is... I don't know, it's just kind of stupid. Um, there's Drapion and then Oranguru. We got you down there, buddy. Not the best Oranguru in the world. But it works for some decks, I guess. Alright, we've got Magnemite. Oh, I see a Cynthia back there. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the Scrotums in this set. We've got to pull all of our Scrotums. Somebody watching that has no idea what I'm talking about is going to be like, What? Pulling on his Scrotum? Here, so we'll put the Scrotums down there and we'll count all that out later. Green coat, I destroyed that Bronzor, which is okay. Gibble, Roserade, and nothing else. Hopefully I didn't miss a Rotom already. Let me be sure. Nope, we're good. Okay. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered. <laughs> Once I saw it, I would have been like, Oh god, the Scrotums are back! We got a white code. Let's see which set is going to get us the better box. Hmm. I'm on the bed Ultra Prism. We'll see. We have a Carnivine, Sneasel, Eevee, Magmar, Morlol, Order Pad, Driftbloom, Mars, Reverse of Paladon, and. Ooh! A Zerka Tree Full Art! Look how shiny! It looks golden. Mmm. Let's put him in a sleeve. Boom, there we go. Nice and lined up. And we're moving on. Welcome, buddy. The first pull. So far, Forbidden Light's in the lead. Got a hyper rare out of that one. Ooh, another white code. Are we going to go back to back? Let's see. We got a Salandit. Ooh. Turtwig. Riolu. Krogunk. Eevee. Honchkrow. Monferno. Fan Club, Rampardos, and a Fat Belly Shaman. I forgot about Shaman. It's so goofy looking. With its fat, puppy-like belly. Makes me want to pet it. <laughs> Alright, we've got a Lopini, a Hippodal, and an Energy Card. I said that perfectly, didn't I? You guys should be, uh, should be jealous of that. <laughs> got a White Code. Yep, there we go. Nicely done. Alright, we got a Scoruppy. Lickitung, Chimchar, Passimian, Booner, er, Buneri, Electric Memory, Turtonator, Mount Coronet, Reverse Hollow Execute, and ooh, a Volkner! Look at that sweet daddy. Looking spiffy as hell. I don't think I've pulled him yet. Okay, so now maybe now maybe this set is winning. <laughs> Full art trainers automatically get a, a plus in my book. I love them so much. I haven't really I've been slacking on them recently, but I've actually been trying to collect all of them ever printed. Um, there's a dark cry, and there's a regular Volkner. So far, I've done pretty well. Uh, I've gotten most of them, but with the recent sets, there's been so many in each set. It's hard to keep up with them all. So. I have to go through my binder again soon and figure out what I'm gonna do. I need to pull the ones I haven't, or just go ahead and buy them because uh, I, I like them. I need to have them all. It's a sickness, a sickness and a disease. <laughs> I need more Pokemon. Got a green code, so we're just gonna shuffle again. Of course, there's a Looker, a Lele, and nothing else we're looking for. I feel like I've either skipped some scrotums or uh, we're just not pulling them this time. Who knows? I've only been somewhat paying attention. 
We've got gum shoes. Oh, and look at that. Speak of the scrotum. All you have to do is talk about them and then they show up. That's, in hindsight, is a really weird thing to say. Talk about scrotums and they just show up. Excellent. That's how you go to prison. Let's fix that real quick. Excellent. We have a gland meow. Meow, meow, meow. Drifloon. A sand true. Hippopotos. Riolu. Gardenia. Perugly, Floatzel, Riolu again, and a Rampardos. Whew. Talking nonstop for 30 minutes is, uh, you can do a number on your soul. Uh, there's that. There we go. I don't even remember what GXs you look for out of this set. Ultra Necrozma, maybe? Cosmog? Turtwig? Electabuzz? Shruby, Glam Meow, Ancient Crystal, Spirit Tomb, Scrotum, there's an Abominus Snow, and a Dusk Main Necrozma. That's the right one. <laughs> oh, there's Dusk Main and Dawn Wings. That's right. When these cards first came out, Dusk Main was the one everybody was playing, but now Dawn Wings has become the, uh, the more desirable Necrozma evolution, which is cool. I like it when the things get switched up like that. People don't expect it. There's another white code. Are we on to something else here? Let's find out. We got a hip hop a pit a hip a hip potato. Passimian. Shinx. Carnivine. Murkrow. Yon Mega. Oh, Palpad. Skunk Tank. Solgaleo Prism. And a Drampaw Dragon. Welcome, buddy. Solgaleo. Look at you hanging out next to your uh, your imitator, Duskmane Necrozma. He just wants to be you, man. He just wants to be you. <laughs> Green code. Let's see what we got. Bastiodon. Nothing else. That's all right. You can't hit something in every pack. That'd be insane. That would be the most insane box in the world. If you get fake boxes, you get a hit at every pack. Or Japanese packs guarantee a hollow in every, or boxes guarantee a hollow in every pack. But if you had like a GX in every pack, something went terribly, terribly wrong at the factory. <laughs> or ter it's terribly right for you, you just got a hell of a deal, but um, that is not supposed to happen. And I don't think it ever has happened, to my knowledge. Probably like one of those folk tales. People will be like, oh yeah, back in 1995, I got a blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't believe you. <laughs> oh, jeez, this pack just fell apart in my hands. The green code. Oh, I'll get that off of there in a second. We have a Monferno, a fan scrotum, and a regular scrotum. Oh my god. You gotta love it when you get the double scrote packs. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Alright. We've got ourselves a Diglett, a Drapion, and an Energy Card. As found in every pack, an Energy Card. That's it. <laughs> That's my story. Let's organize a little bit here. As we dive into the second half, the last quarter of the video, rather. Alright, we've got another green code. And we've got a Cosmog, a big long neck Papa, and that is all. That is all. Okay. Another green code, oh my goodness. Where's all the goodies? Licky licky, type null, and uh, nothing else. Welcome, young Lickster. With your goofy looking face. Oh, I can't stop looking at it, it's kind of... Another green coat, oh my god, what's happening? We have a lily, a heat scrotum, and nothing else. Again, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. Give me a secret rare. I don't even care which one. Just give me one. 
I'll take a unit energy. How about that? Secret rare unit energy. Let's do it. I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? About to call my shot like Babe Ruth. We have a Pachirisu, Alolan Sandshrew, Vulpix, Bronzor, Dupider, a Skateboard, Alolan Dugtrio, Unit Energy, more lol, and a Dialga GX Full Art. I missed it! I called the wrong thing! I'm getting all the, the, the GXs that are P colored. They're ugly. <laughs> There's still a chance for a secret rare. It seems unlikely, but it's possible. Stranger things have happened. We have a Chimchar. Look at it, it's a monkey. Pachirisu, Scoruffy, Young Goose, Cherubi, Spiritomb, Dugtrio, Ancient Crystal, Sand Slash, and a Weavile Hollow. That Weavile for a moment was a pretty penny. And then it uh, sort of fell off the face of the earth. It happens with Pokemon sometimes. Um, energy card. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We've got a Diglett. Diglett. Pipluff. Slandit. Pissimian. Shinx. Manaphy. Cynthia. Welcome, my lady. Welcome. Grottle. Mount Coronet, and a Palkia GX. We're just pulling all the crappy ones. I'm sorry. Hate to say it. <laughs> We're pulling all the cards that nobody uses. It is unfortunate. But you know what? Whatever. I've already got everything I need to play. I'm just opening these for fun and enjoying some old Pokemon. We've got a Salandit, an Electivire, and an Energy. Nothing else hiding in there. Those are probably our two Cynthia's for the box, if I'm not mistaken. Unless we get a, uh, a reverse hollow one. That would be a chance for another one. There's an energy card. It's grass. And we have a Shinx, Yanma, Bronzor, Gibble, Rosalia, Driftblim, Mars, Lopini, Rose oh, Roserade, and a Lucario hollow. <laughs> I tried to speak, it just didn't work. Alright, green code action. We'll just go through these couple things. There's a hollow scrotum. You gotta be happy about some shiny scrot action. Put him in the pile. I don't think we're gonna have nearly as many scrotum as usual. Usually we get like, what, like 10 a box or something crazy? I think we've only gotten like six or seven. There's a uh, Lunala Prism and another Scrotum. It knows I'm looking for him now. It's like, yes, I am a Scrotum. I am here. I wish to be seen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Chimchar, Magirna, and an energy card. Nothing else in there. We are wrapping up here in a few minutes. We will be all set, all done, and ready to go. All right, oh, energy card. We have a Magmar, Sweet Fire Dad, Chimchar, Sneasel, Wigatung, Carnivine, Cosmome, Pokemon Fan Club, Gabite, oh, Pokemon Fan Club again, and a Ferramosa Hyper Rare, again, not very playable. <laughs> this box is, uh, it's, it's fighting, it's fighting to win right now. It is fighting to win. The pull rates are there. It's just the quality of the pulls themselves are not what we're looking for. But you know what? There's another scrotum, so everything is okay. Scrotum saves all. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> There's a chance for one more thing. Maybe, maybe. I wouldn't count on it though. If we get one more pull, let's hope it is a doozy. Or at least one more scrotum. That would be fantastic. Give me a scrotum! Nope. Wouldn't it be funny if my neighbors heard me screaming that? 
This guy was screaming for a scrotum over here. What's going on? Last pack. Let's see what we got. It is a, it's a green code. So let's go for the scrotum. Sneasel, Eevee, Magmar, Skunk Tank, Toxicroak. No, no bean bags. Oh no. Well, there you have it. Let's see how many scrotums we did get. We got one, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine whole scrotums, including the one I threw. There we go, look at that. Look at all those bean satchels. Boom! That's how you know you got yourselves a good Pokemon video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time! Peace and chicken grease.